Top of the morning to ya. Today we're diving into what does social emotional learning mean for your class. So I just returned from a walk which helps me to feel centered. If I asked what does social emotional learning mean, I would say it includes activities like walking. For me, that's been essential. That's a routine in my life that keeps me calm and organized. So imagine if we taught our students these essential skills from a young age so they could identify what really works for them. I understand walking's not for everyone. A lot of people love coloring, doesn't work for me. What if we taught our students all these skills, gave them opportunities to practice, and they could figure this out for themselves, what works for them and their bodies. So let's get started. Social emotional learning, otherwise known as SEL, is about teaching the emotional intelligence and life skills our students need to thrive both academically and socially. SEL allows individuals to understand and manage their emotions, which helps them to establish healthy relationships and make informed decisions in their life. So what does social emotional learning mean in life? Uh, SEL nurtures close relationships. It helps to us to manage stress, just like my walking does for me. It increases our social competence and improves our overall well-being. It provides essential life tools for success. I like to call SEL 60-year learning or teachings. These are lessons that last a lifetime. Teaching students compassion and responsibility, such as caring for the environment through activities like raising butterflies, ensures they care these values for decades, as opposed to teaching them the parts of a butterfly, the life cycle of butterfly, a butterfly, which can be engaging and motivating and inspiring, but they're not necessarily going to remember the academic details for life. But when we involve them in the caring and understanding, the compassion, the even the destruction of habitat. We involve, we create empathy and develop um, these skills that they'll need for life. So despite the benefits uh, social emotional instruction brings, uh, SEL faces controversy. Critics argue that it may be intrusive or ideological. Challenges have included that it is liberal indoctrination, um, that the fo programs focus too much on children's identities, and it teaches children to focus on themselves rather than on making them community minded. Sometimes it's just because it's not fully understood that um, people who've never been exposed to it before find it a little bit threatening because they're not really being sure, they're not really sure of what, what's being taught to their children. Fair enough. So it sometimes creates that fear of the unknown, leaving people feeling a bit lost, afraid, confused or threatened when children start to discuss things like feelings and uh, self-care and boundaries, which is can be challenging for um, parents or guardians. So uh, people can be afraid of people who are comfortable setting personal boundaries, and that can be very culturally scary. It's crucial to address these concerns with respect and understanding, but still focus on the SEL's true intentions, which is to develop life skills. So you're ready for a story from my life? Uh, one lesson that I learned at about the age of 34, which is a little later than I would have liked it, but was learning to differentiate between anger and frustration. Okay, so this is a personal moment and um, it's about one of those emotions we tend to be less comfortable about uh, with, which is anger. So if that's a concern for you, that's your little warning. You might not want to hear this story, but don't worry. Nothing happens that you need to be concerned about other than me learning um, about my feelings. So, qu so quite the opposite of anything being happened. But I do want to recognize the different journeys uh, that people experience. So one day when my children were young, I was in the kitchen and they were playing in another room very close by. At that point in time, we lived in a very small bungalow. I pulled a jar of pickled beets out of the refrigerator and somehow I dropped them and shattered the jar. Red beet juice went everywhere, including all over my newly painted white 
floorboards. Uh, if you can imagine, I was tired, stressed, and stretched. I did not have the energy to deal with this. However, despite my frustration and feelings of being overwhelmed, I also realized that it was an accident and I was the culprit. I got over it and I cleaned it up. Amazingly, in that moment, because I felt like I was angry and I'd seen a lot of anger in my life and that's the only feeling I identified. But I learned I wasn't angry. It was, uh, then I kind of understood I was frustrated. And that was the day I realized that there was a difference between anger and frustration. And um, that simple accident taught me to uh, navigate my emotions better because suddenly I realized, oh, what are all these other feelings that I'm feeling and need to identify and learn how to resolve? SEL isn't indoctrination. It's about helping students understand their feelings so they can make better life choices. Because when we're angry, we make different choices than when we're frustrated, often, if we, if we know. Because anger is about protecting ourselves. Frustration is just about being, well, frustrated with the world. So SEL covers topics like emotions, self-awareness, relationships, decision-making, and communication. These skills help students understand their strengths, help them to regulate their emotions, and also to build healthy uh, relationships amongst other things. Incorporating SEL in classrooms creates resilient, empathetic individuals ready for life's challenges. It's essential to integrate SEL activities even if formal instruction isn't supported in your school. So try incorporating SEL, social emotional learning, into your classroom all day long. Share a strategy you use in the comments below so we can learn from each other. And then let's explore what SEL means for our students while respecting diverse perspectives. Remember, SEL can transform classrooms into supportive learning environments. Thank you for joining me today. I offer my classroom management checklist as a free gift to you as my way of saying thank you. You can use the bit.ly link you see on the screen. Scan the QR code with your phone camera. Also, the QR code is on the screen or you will find the link in the comments below. Thanks for joining me. See you soon. On the right, you will see that I've identified a video that you may also find uh, valuable. It is called What is Classroom Management and Why is it Important? And it identifies the five main pillars of classroom management, as I've determined based on what I've learned about evidence-based teaching practice. And um, this one is goes back to the very beginning and social emotional learning is one of the pillars of classroom management. And um, so I thought you might find it valuable to see how it's integrated into it. Please also remember to like and subscribe so that you can see more of my videos. I'd love to see you again soon.